Welcome back to How Not To Be A Noob. And today, with the release of Ragnarok, we are looking at all the cave systems currently on the map. This video includes coordinates of each of the caves and a brief run-through run of each of the caves. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to smash a like on it. And until next time, you guys are legends. Thanks for watching. Glacier Ice Cave is at 30.32. And this cave has a few penguins inside of it. So if you do want to farm penguins, this isn't a bad spot to come. It's also full of bears, so you've got to be careful of that. But it's a pretty, pretty big cave inside. And this is found at 30, 32, and you'll find penguins out the front of it as well. And it's very cold. There's a few entry points to it. Carnivorous Caverns. And this is found next to the... Uh, Next to the castle at 2141, and you can see the cave entrance just down here. This is a very dark cave I've noticed, so I'm going to get some light in here. So this cave is extremely dark, and I don't think it's dark outside at the moment. It's not. So I think this cave's a little bit glitched at the moment, because it is super dark. This carnivorous cave is huge. It's actually a very big cave. And it's got a lot of space for big dinosaurs. It's crazy there's no lighting in here though. So this cave is absolutely massive. There's another entry point at 1742 for the Carnivorous Cave. There could even be more. Like That cave is so big in there, it's crazy. Next up, we've got the Kameka Cave, and this is at 2231. It's pretty obvious because you can find the big skeleton remains of a dinosaur there, and you just follow that in under this waterfall, and that's where you'll find a pretty nice spot for a base. You can build in all these caves, but they do take seven times damage. Oh. La lo. So it's a pretty awesome cave in here. Big enough for a, a bit of a base. And you've got that obvious pretty good choke point there. I'm pretty sure that's the only way to get in here. So this is an awesome little, little hideaway. Next up, we've got the cave called Forbidden Grotto. And this cave is at 2727 pretty much on the map. And again, this is a pretty good spot for a little base. Would be a pretty small base, it's got two entry points, but you could seal those off and protect them. Wouldn't be a bad spot for a, for a little, little bit of a base. Put a couple gates down, a few turrets, and you'd be set. Next up, we've got the Curl Cave at 2428. This is more of just like a big, like a uh, shelf. I wouldn't necessarily call this a cave. And this could store a pretty decent base, but you would take that increased damage, so I don't know. I don't know, this spot could be alright. You could build something up here, I guess. Have it pretty protected. Still opportunity in here. But it's going to be a harder one to protect. This next spot is called Skeletal Canyon Cave. You'll find this at 2029. You can see this big skeleton here. So if you see that, just dive down behind it, and you'll find oh, this uh, cave just up here in this shelf. And this is a pretty cool cave. I like this cave. Quite a bit of space inside once you clear all the rocks. And it's got a, like this little bit here which you can secure really well. So this is one of my favorite caves so far. There are some awesome caves on this map. 
This next cave is called the Pirate Cave. Probably the coolest name out of all the caves. And this one's sort of hard to see because it's covered in trees, but if you see near that bridge, you just use this bridge up here as your land marker, and you just basically go down from there, and you can't miss it. Literally a big dip into it. So this would be a harder one to protect, I guess. But if you build in here, around this area, it's not going to be so bad. But this one's actually, I think it's got a bit of water access. Pretty big cavernous cave. It's got a lot of entrances too, so you'd have to protect all these entrances. But it's pretty cool if you've got a lot of water diners. This cave would be pretty, pretty awesome to use. So this cave actually does have water access. I'm just going to check the depth of the water. I don't think you'll fit very big dinosaurs up here. Possibly a squid. But pirate cave is going to be for anyone who loves a raft. Actually, that's pretty deep. You could probably fit some pretty decent size uh, water dinos in there. This next cave is found at 35, 25, and this is called Metal Cave. This cave seems like it's currently uh, blocked for some reason. I'm not sure why that is, but it's very strange. So Metal Cave is here, but I can't actually get inside of it. Next cave is called Beaver Fall Cave, 2748, and it's underneath this massive waterfall. So you fly in. And then you've got this little area here. And it's quite small, but if you put like a behemoth gate and stuff down, it'd be pretty sort of hidden, I guess. This next cave is just called the Beaver Cave. I'm pretty sure it's under here. Yep, so there's this little cave here. And... Very similar to the other one. This next cave is Volcano Tunnel at 2559. Yeah, you can see it's just a tunnel that goes straight through. This next cave is called Volcano Cave, located at 1965. And you can find it near the beach at the bottom of the volcano. This next cave is found at 2386, and this is the Scotland Basalt Cave. And this uh, this cave is pretty cool. It's got these awesome pillars, volcanic pillars. They look amazing. And it's got your uh, water access for your water dinos too. So this cave's gonna be a pretty good one for if you're wanting to breed um, breed your water dinos and things like that. Um, let's see how deep this is, and that's really damn deep, which is amazing. So this is gonna be a really good spot, actually like this obviously vulnerable to raft raids and things but pretty damn cool around about 1879 you can find the uh, Scotland crystal cave don't actually know why it's called that because I can't see any crystals in here but that's that's what it's called this cave is actually really hard to find. It's called Scotland Trench Cave, because they call this biome Scotland, obviously. And it's a very skinny cave. I'm not sure if you can build it, but it's got the artifact too. It's got the artifact of the massive in here. So I like that this cave is like hidden away. It actually took me so long to find it. This next cave is called the Fallen Redwood Cave, and this cave is again in a river. And it's pretty damn cool in here. This is actually one of my favourite caves. It's very different to the other ones. Why can't I run? Slow mode for some reason. This is where you find Artifact the Brute too. At 4062 you can find the Snow Crystal Cave.
This cave is pretty damn cool. But pretty damn cold. So you need fur to get down here, really. Temperature is negative 40 in here, so go on a QE pretty quick. This is a pretty damn big cave. So this would be pretty defensible, to be honest. The other end, it comes out at 37.58. So the final cave is the central cave one at 36.49 and this cave is uh, not the biggest but it's another cave system if you are looking for a small little cave base then it's not a bad spot but do keep in mind they do take increased damage.